What's going on everybody, so ABM's your back. So this is the only picture we have, unfortunately, for the Knicks, but I mean, it's better than nothing. So you can see at the top, Carmelo Anthony's an 88 overall. His inside scoring is B-plus, A mid-range. That mid-range should be an A-plus, um, three-pointer, B-minus. Glad to see it get up in the B-range, because last year it was only like a 78, which wasn't high enough. So now you're looking at an 81, 82 overall. Inside defense, C-plus, perimeter defense, uh, C-plus, so that's good. He has average defense, that's what it should be. I actually consider him to be in a, like a slightly above average defender, you know. When he's he can honestly, you know, if he wants to, and when he you know when he's healthy, he can stay on guys. You've seen him go after guys like LeBron Durant. So um, yeah, spec that the defense C plus is good, which is like I said, slightly above average. So now Chris Porzingis is an eighty overall. He ended the year I think at like an eighty two or eighty three. Um, well, he might have gone down to like an eighty seventy nine because in the second half of the season he wasn't healthy and also he wasn't being used by Kurt Rambis, which still don't understand why. That even happened. I don't know how you can not use Chris Asperzingis, especially in today's NBA. He's so versatile. Um, yeah, so that didn't make much sense. But his inside scoring is a C plus. His mid range at a B plus. Three pointer at an F. Now Ronnie Two K did say that um, guys like what did he say? Chris Bosh and uh, somebody else. He said basically, you know, big men like power forwards, stretch fours that can shoot just because they have F three pointers doesn't mean they do. So I don't see how that makes sense, but. I know Brzingis wouldn't have enough, and he clarified that. He didn't say specifically Chris S. Brzingis, but, um, yeah, I hope in the future, though, you know, those the three-pointers can get correct, because just because Carmel, you know, Carmel Anthony shoots a lot of three-pointers, so his percentage won't be, you know, 50%. It will never be 50% in a season. But, you know, obviously he's a good three-point shooter, and I'm talking about 86, 87. He's that good. Chris S. Brzingis, you know, mid-range, that is, it should be at least a 90 Chris has for saying his main range has complete money when whether he's guarded or on open. So yeah, that's really I mean, I don't know how Brzingis is an eighty, you know, look at he, he's so good on defense, arguably better than offense. On offense he's so skilled, he can do anything, he can dribble, he can dunk, he can shoot over people, he can go in the post, he developed that hook shot at the end of last season, so at an eighty overall this kinda of doesn't make much sense at all. Um, his perimeter D is a C minus. The inside defense should be up. I mean, you know, he averaged nearly two blocks a game last year. He's seven three wingspan, you know, and just very athletic, like I said. So, yeah, this C plus needs to come up inside defense. Now, there it grows, eighty overall. Um, I'm I'm not gonna complain with that. You know, uh, I think a goal is eighty two, so that would have been pretty good. You know, just to see him at the start of a goal, but he can work his way up. You know, it's not like Chicago anymore. He's not gonna be expected to do too much. Um, he has Carmel Anthony and Chris Asperzingis by his side. So, yeah, let's see. Um, inside scoring, A minus, good. Mid range, B plus. Uh, yeah, like that. D minus three. Uh, at least a C. I don't think D minus is necessary. But yeah, that mid range and a B plus, you know, I think that's really what he's best at. Other than inside scoring, is that mid range. Pretty nice. Especially, specifically the floater. So, I guess B plus, you can't complain. Inside defense, D minus. Perimeter defense C, so that C needs to come up. He's definitely an old, probably you know he's a very good defender. But I'm talking about the point guard position specifically. So uh, I don't see how he's really an average defender because I've seen him play cl you know clamps on Curry, Westbrook, guys like that. So uh, Joakim Noah inside he's 77 overall. Oh shit, pitcher's gonna run. Out. All right, so Joakim Noah is a 77 overall, basically the same as last year. He has a NAF inside scoring. Which, that should go up because he can finish on low. I mean, I don't think an F is really necessary. Mid-range D, uh, fair enough. Three-pointer F. Inside defense B+. Plus. Perimeter defense C-. minus. So how are you going to give Joakim Noah, you know, absolute trash offensive stats when he wasn't healthy? And then go ahead and give him, you know, pretty much B+, plus and C- minus as a rim protector. is just not enough. But I'm assuming his playmaking and dribbling is really good, so... Now shooting guard Courtney Lee, C minus inside scoring, B plus mid range, D minus three. Uh, I just there's no you can't just give a guy a shooter you know a dead specialist shooter spawning up a D minus three and then go ahead and say that it's not really a D minus. That's just I don't understand that. These ratings I they look good when I saw them but now they're just kind of frustrating because they're not giving the guys you know what they do best. You know everyone should be you know pretty much one one dimension at least on this team other than Kristaps Porzingis. Everyone else is pretty much, and Derrick Rose, I would say, a little bit. He's, he can play good two-way player, but it's just not, it just doesn't make sense. So, Courtney, and obviously his, his defense, of course, is going to be a C2, and that should be up. So, now, center, uh, I don't really, who, if that's, I don't even really know the whole roster yet. I know they got a couple guys from Spain, um, 
but I don't see how are the Knicks backup centers at 76. All I can think of would be, I don't even know his name, he came from Spain, um, played in the Olympics. So, yeah, I don't know. I know that point guard right there is Brandon Jennings, but backup center, it's not Kevin Serafin. He wouldn't be a 76. Um, B plus mid-range, he can shoot. It must be. I don't know. I wish they, I could see the names on the roster. But, um, yeah, Brandon Jennings, only a C plus three, only a C mid-range. So, basically, what am I going to use him for? Nothing at all, because um, if I'm Brandon Jennings out there, he's going to be hitting, you know, shots, getting assists. And he can't with those stats, and then just down, just, just a bunch of you know, just trash stats. So, yeah, you're still gonna be able to use the Knicks online, but just not in the way that they're used. You're just gonna have to, you know, just go around Derrick Rose, get people open, finish, and then hit Carmelo for jumpers, stuff like that. So, yeah, I really hope they fix these rosters. I hope these are just leaked, and they're gonna keep working on them. I don't think they are because I've seen, you know, professional, you know, the pro athletes retweet their picks of their ratings. So, yeah, I mean, I can understand why people are, you know, unhappy with their ratings, but I mean, yep, just go and get them up, you know, have breakout season, make them change them, because there's always those those guys that, you know, just come out of nowhere from 80 overalls and end up in like, you know, like, they can't, well, I mean, not necessarily in 2K, but there's guys that, you know, can start at a 70, you know, 4 and end the year at like an 82 or something like that, that's, you know, pretty, um, happens all the time in 2K, so yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this breakdown, now, I mean, it's not awful, I'm not criticizing the guys because it's a hard job to rate people. I'm just saying that, you know, if you're, you know, if you're gonna, you know, take away, say, for example, if you're gonna take away Joe Kino's offense, which isn't good in real life, it's not, like, amazing, I'm just saying that he can finish down low. If I'm coming around a wraparound pass with Derrick Rose, I don't want to miss an open layup because his, you know, layup rating is, what, an F? <laughs> Come on now. So... Yeah, also the next, Lance Thomas, I don't even, actually, not like, yeah, Lance Thomas isn't even a 73, there's no way in hell he's not a 73, after the year he had last year, Poi going down with an injury, defense-wise, he's a great two-way player, I mean, basically, you know, Kawhi Leonard, you know, junior, I mean, obviously he doesn't play the defense Kawhi Leonard plays, but just the build of him and the breakdown is much like Kawhi Leonard, so, yeah, two-way players should at least be a 70, you know, four overall, so... Yeah, this is Swaggy Game signing out. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more. Leave a like. I can do other roster breakdowns. Peace.